isa sa mga palatandaan na trigonometry na tayo is meron na tayong makikita mga sine, cosine, uh, at saka tangent. Yeah. You were given like uh, the common angles like 0 degrees, 30 degrees, and um, 45 degrees, and 60 degrees, and 90 degrees. Sila yung mga common angles na makikita natin sa mga books. Ang ituturo ko talaga sa inyo ngayon is yung hand trick. No? I can get like the sign of 30 degrees without even typing it down o oh, pipindutin sa calculator. Paano ko yung ginagawa? This hand trick, no? Uh, I mark each finger here with 0, 9, uh, 30, 45, 16, 90. So if I will look for the sign of 30 degrees, um, una, titingnan ko muna kung, al kung saan sa mga fingers na ito yung ating 30 degrees. And obviously, ito siya. And then, I would count off, no, kapag magbibilang ako ng sign is from this point papunta din sa kabila hanggang sa bago ito marating. Yan. Uh, from, la, uh, no, from right to left ang ating pagbibilang. And as you can see, I have here one finger no, before I reach 30 degrees. And in order for you to have this sign 30 degrees, no, all you need is a uh, radical sign fraction bar in a denominator since may na count up tayong one finger dito bago mag 30 degrees we would put one here and we simplify part of one is one and divided by two so meaning sine of 30 degrees is one half what if i am to look for the cosine 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 30 I usually yung so tapping cos lang cos 30 degrees so if sine no ang ginamit natin ang count of uh, ang count natin ay from right to left pero pag cosine naman ang papun mula naman dito papunta dun sa kat ganun tayo pag cosine so kapag cosine na uh, 30 degrees how many fingers do you see before we reach 30? So we count up 1, 2, 3. Meaning, so dito sa cosine 30, no? again, ang kailangan nyo lang ay radical sign, and bar, at denominator. And how many fingers do you see? 1, 2, 3. So meron tayong 3 doon sa loob ng radical. Kung ilan yung finger na na-count natin dito, ay yun yung ilalagay natin sa loob ng radicals. And... Uh, at this point, no, square root of 3 all over 2 is already simplified. Point. Hindi na natin siya kailangan pang i-decimal, no? Kasi it's uh, a simplified form naman na. And this kind of notation naman at pagsulat is accepted, no? In the field of mathematics. So, ganun lang po siya. Um, is it um, useful kahit sa ibang angles, no? Bukod sa 30? Yes. Um, how about uh, pag nasa mga dulo na parang 90 at saka 0, isubukan natin muna yung uh, sa 90. Burahin ko lang muna itong 1, 30, itong 30. If we would put our mark here and we will look for the sine and cosine of 90, kapag cosine 90, cosine 90 degrees, how many fingers do you, can you count ba bago mag 90? There is no finger talaga, no? Bago mag 90. So we can put no, 0 inside the radical sign. And the denominator is 2. Square root of 0 is just 0. But by 2. So it's just 0. <laughs> Excuse me. Cos 90 is 0. And if we will look for the sign of 90 degrees. So same process pa rin, no? A radical sign. A fraction bar and a denominator. And if we will count off the fingers over here, 1, 2, 3, 4. Now we have 4 over here. And square root of 4 is 2 divided by 2. And 2 divided by 2 is. And if even if you would check this, no, so gamit yung inyong calculator, and type in sine 90, ang um, lalabas is 1. And cosine 90 is 0.